What's going on? Muscle Monsters, Align Gonzalez here, and today I want to talk about the worst advice that anyone could ever give a naturally skinny guy who wants to gain weight. All right, and it's probably advice that you've already gotten. It's advice that I got in the beginning, tried and failed with. Um, and so, on top of that, I want to give you a better piece of advice that you might actually find helpful. All right, so the piece of advice, the worst piece of advice that anyone could ever give you when your goal is to gain weight is you gotta eat more food. No fucking shit, right? Now, why is this the worst piece of advice, okay? Because here's what's going to happen, and this is inevitable, right? Right now, you're eating enough to maintain your weight, right? You're not calculating any calories, might not even be keeping a mindful eye of what you're eating. You're just eating intuitively, and somehow or another, your weight is roughly about the same, right? It's going to fluctuate a pound or two from day to day, but ultimately, you are maintaining your weight by eating intuitively. So when somebody says, you need to eat more, what happens immediately is you increase your caloric intake, right? That increase in calorie intake is going to put weight on you because now you went from what your maintenance was to a caloric surplus, right? Now you're taking in more energy than you're expending, all right? And that's great, right? That's the goal. However, if you have no fucking clue how many calories you are consuming, right? Then what is inevitable is that you are going to hit a brick wall and you're not going to be able to get around it, okay? Here's what I mean. In the first week, you're eating more, you gain fucking five pounds. You're ecstatic. This is is probably the best thing that's ever happened to you, right? Being a naturally skinny guy. When we start seeing that scale go up, uh, there's no better feeling, right? Because you're eating more now. What happens next week? Next week, you gain two pounds. And that's great. You're still making gains. You're getting bigger. Um, and that's still kind of exciting. But what happens on the third and fourth week when you're gaining maybe a quarter a pound, quarter a pound or half a pound, um, you're still seeing progress, but you're not as excited by it. And the next week comes and maybe you lost a pound, maybe you lost half a pound, maybe your weight stayed the same, right? What's happening here is that what was your maintenance, right? Or sorry, what was a caloric surplus is no longer enough to put you in a surplus, okay? Because you have no idea how many calories you're consuming, right? You don't know how to adjust, okay? So here you are, seven, eight pounds heavier, but you're stuck, okay? And so you go back to your buddy, the same one who gave you that shitty advice, and say, hey man, I'm stuck. How can I gain more weight? And they give you the same piece of advice. You gotta eat more calories. The problem is, you don't know how much more to eat because you haven't a clue of how much you are already eating. Now, you may be able to kind of just force feed yourself for another couple of weeks and squeeze out a few more pounds, but eventually it's going to get to the point where you're not going to be able to eat more food and you're not going to be gaining weight, right? And the easiest way to avoid this pitfall is to know exactly how much you're eating. Now, I've given you tons of different ways that you can calculate your nutrition to figure out your maintenance and then increase it by X amount to put yourself in a positive energy balance so that you're gaining weight, yada, yada, yada. But for the purpose of this video, I'll give you something very practical that you can do, right? It's going to be a way that you can find your maintenance calories um, by without doing any calculations or changing anything in your diet. And so what I want you to do is for an entire week, I want you to 
um, just track what you have to eat. All right. I don't want you to overthink or uh, let this play a role in what you decide to eat. I just want you to eat however the fuck you've been eating, right? If you typically have a bowl of cereal for breakfast, have a bowl of cereal for breakfast. Um, if you typically um, have a Snickers bar at lunch, um, then have a fucking Snickers bar. It's not important. What's important is, is that you track everything that you're eating for an entire week. Um, if you want to get more accurate, then do it for two weeks. But ultimately, track what you're eating. And then, at the end of the week or two weeks, I want you to, um, and you can do this as you go, break down and find out how many calories you're consuming per day. Right? You can do this by figuring out how many calories you are eating per week, or if it's a little bit easier, which I would recommend, uh, figure out how many calories you eat each day, add it up over the week, and then divide it into you know seven days. That's going to give you an accurate number for how many calories you're consuming on average, and that's going to be right around your maintenance, right? That's the amount of calories that you need to eat to stay the same weight, okay? To get the same results you've been getting, all right? Now, you can easily say, okay, I'm maintaining at 2,000 calories. Let's bump that at up to 2,500 calories. Increase your calories by 500, and now you're gaining weight because you're in a caloric surplus, okay? Track your weight, make sure that you are weighing yourself daily, getting averages at the end of the week, and uh, whenever your weight stalls, right, whenever you hit that fucking brick wall that's inevitable, now you can bust through it because you have the tools necessary, right? So all you do is say, all right, 2,500 is no longer enough. Let's bump it up to 2,750 or 2,800 and repeat. And every time you hit that goddamn wall, right, you adjust, bust through the damn wall, and keep going. It's really that simple. All right. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, click the like button below, subscribe for more videos, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.